how to use Google Charts. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. If you're looking to create charts and graphs to help you visualize your data in Google Sheet, Google Chart is a great tool to use. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the basics of how to use Google Charts with Google Sheets. First, we'll show you how to access the Google Charts library and choose a chart type that is appropriate for your data. Then, we'll walk you through how to connect your Google Sheet data to your Google Chart and how to customize your chart by adding data, adjusting colors, and adding labels. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a good understanding of how to use Google Charts with Google Sheets to create a basic chart and graphs for your data. So whether you're new to Google Charts or just looking to learn how to use it with Google Sheets, this tutorial is for you. So, let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to do is of course, open Google Sheet and then open or create a data for you to use. Now to add graphs or Google Chart to your Google Sheet, you're simply going to click on Insert over here on the top and you're going to click on Chart. By clicking this, you would be able to access the different charts available in Google. Now over here on the right side, you can see that this is the Chart Editor. By clicking on the Chart Type, you would be able to see all the different various types of chart that we could use for our Google Sheet. As you can see here, we have other category here. We have Map, we have Cut, Scatter, Pie, Bar, Column, Area, and Line Charts over here. You can simply choose any charts that you would like depending on what type of data that you have. For example, we have this data over here. I have created a very simple sales data over here. And we're going to use any of this chart type over here. We're going to go with line for the meantime. As you can see here also, we have our data range. To enter our data range, we're going to have to click on this button and we're going to type in our range. As you can see here, this is our data. You're going to look for A and then 3. This is the starting point of the data range. We're going to type in A3. Then type in this column over here and then you're going to look for the end of your data which is C6. You're going to have this entire thing over here as your data range. So we have C6 over here. Now after that, you're going to click on OK and it will automatically create a graph based on the data that you have over here. As you can see here, we have $5,000, $10,000, $15,000, and $20,000 over here. We have our laptop which is the $10 over here, PC which is the $15, $15,000, vacuum which is $4,000, and phone over here which is $5,000. You could click on the three dots over here, you could edit the chart, you could delete the chart, you could download the chart to PNG, PDF, or scalable vector graphics over here. You could publish the chart, copy the chart, or move to own sheet over here, or add an alternative text if the person viewing your chart is unable to see it. Now clicking on edit chart, you would be able to see this section over here. Once again, you could edit the x-axis over here, you could aggregate it. Just like this, you could add some if you would like to have. And over here, we have series over here. You can switch rows and columns by clicking this. As you can see, it's going to change the data arrangement. You could use columns as A as label here, column A as label, use row 3 as header, just like that. You could change this stuff around. You could also click on customize over here. You're going to change your chart style, like the background. You could change it to any color that you want. You could choose from none. All of this color palette or standard over here or you could add a custom color by clicking this button over here you can change it to like that you could change the font to whatever font that you would like for example white as you can see it's going to be white we can change the border color over here but we can turn it to black just like that as you can see it's now color black you could also edit the layout like smooth as you can see it's going to be a smooth line you could click on maximize which would maximize our space we could plot now the values over here, we could compare mode by doing this, just like that. You could also edit the chart and access title over here. You could add the title text over here, for example, sales, just like that. And it will appear over here. You could change the type of text over here, chart title, chart subtitle, horizontal axis title, or vertical axis title. You could also check out the series over here. You could change the series in this section. You could have a legend if you would like to have a legend, horizontal axis, and vertical axis, and grid line and text over here. You could change and customize your graph depending on what type of chart type you have. 
if you chose a different chart type of course the customization settings would be different so depending on what you have it's going to be different so you should explore this thoroughly now going back here to setup if you happen to change your mind on your chart you can click here again and you would be able to see a different appearance over here on the suggested it's going to suggest depending on our data over here we click on this and this will show us a bar type of graph as you can see this is a suggested graph for our type of data you could click on customize over here and you would be able to do the same thing we did earlier as you can see here you could make it 3d which is different from earlier you could change the add chart and axis and stuff like that you could change it to a pie graph over here as you can see we could change it to a pie graph and the customize would be different once again just like that you could change it to any type of data that you would like to have depending on what you like now I have another example of data over here on this section which is a bigger sample data and we're going to copy this. We're going to copy this from here to here. Ctrl C and we're going to go back in this section. We're going to delete this graph for now. Click on delete chart and we're going to highlight everything and paste it over here just like that. Now for this time we're going to insert a chart once again. Click on insert just like that. We're going to put our chart beside our activity over here. And this time we're going to select our data range from our data to our debate club over here. So we're going to do this and click on shift just like that. And it will automatically add the data range over here. Click on OK. And we're going to wait for our data. We're going to choose our column, our chart type to whatever chart type we'd like. As you can see here, it's saying column 2 must be numeric which is our gender over here unfortunately we can't combine all of this so what we're going to do is we're going to delete this one next again going to insert you have to be careful with the type of data you have you can't just group every type of data so for now we're going to go with data range once again go and select student name and then go to the bottom of this section over here click on ok and over here we're going to click on our pie chart it's not properly working for us so we're not going to try and create a graph for this one like i said you're going to have to be careful with the type of data that you have so we're going to stick with the one that we have earlier which is this one over here now if you want to change the size of your graph you could make it smaller by dragging it just like this and dragging it to wherever you would like it to be you could also Format your slice pie over here, edit your chart size or chart area, add legends just like we saw earlier. And that's it guys, that's how you can use Google Charts with Google Sheets or if you want to use it on other formats or other platform, you could also do the same thing. And that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.